At around 4 p.m. Thursday evening, after receiving multiple calls, firefighters raced to the Living Waters Pentecostal Church on Slack Road near Maryville. Upon arrival, firefighters could not enter the building, forcing them into a defensive attack due to a possible roof collapse. The extreme cold weather and structure of the church did not make battling the blaze easy. There are many conditions that are making this raging fire very difficult to beat. One of the biggest being the cold weather. The water is freezing upon impact and they're actually worried about the hoses exploding. With cold conditions, we do have to make sure that we have extra tools and extra water supplies. At this stage, we're also looking out for our firefighters' health and safety, ensuring that they don't get any cold-related injuries. But it's just maintaining that particular water flow and ensuring we can get the fire out. Although it was operationally considered a one-alarm blaze, extra firefighters were brought to the scene to rotate in due to the cold temperatures. Trinity Noble found out about the fire when a friend who works nearby, sent her a picture of the flames coming out of the church. Noble grew up as a part of the congregation, and her grandparents are the pastors. I've definitely not clicked in yet. Um, it's really weird, even though it's right behind me. Um, it's, uh, it's not going to click in for a long time. Even. She says the congregation is not sure what's next, yet they have faith. You know, we have faith. We have hope. Uh, we know... We're passionate about what we've been doing for the community and, and we don't want to stop. The building may have burnt down, but we're still, we're still going strong. No one was in the church at the time the blaze broke out and no cars were in the parking lot. The building had to be demolished Thursday evening due to safety concerns. It is still unclear what caused the fire or what the financial loss will be, yet it's likely a large scale loss. At this time, we still don't have too many details on what caused this fire. Yet, if you look behind me, you'll see fire crews are still extremely busy trying to put that fire out. And what looks like they'll be here for quite some time. Charlie Cenac, TWIN News, Ottawa.